All right, guys. So um, this is another WWE Ultimates review. This is Becky Lynch. Um, I guess it's more or less like the Becky Two Bells thing. Um, so with this set, we get an ultra head. Um, we get two belts. So I think it was a couple years ago she had actually won both belts. Um, sorry, just switching that around. Um, I don't think she had them for long, but it was kind of a cool thing. She was Becky two belts. Um, let's see. And this has got like kind of a thing with like, looks like I had two kind of like the loose legs. Well, her right one's a little tight, but this one's a little loose. Um, that probably did really good with like the, well, I don't know. So it's kind of supposed to be like lace. But like there's a line here, there's a skip here, there's an overlap here. Um, it does this weird thing in the back, like some of this is painted off, but, um, I think the face sculpt looks really good. I think they did a really good job with that. Um, and this is where she had like the, it wasn't shaved on the side, but she had pinned it where it just flopped over like that. So all of her hair is like on the left side. Um, what I thought was weird is that she actually comes with alternate arms. Um, but they look, oh, okay. So I thought like they looked identical and they kind of are, but these are like a thinner looking arm. So it's like she's in gear. So like she would have sleeves in the ring. So like this one here, I'll just show you. Um, let's see if I can get it right. And line it up too. But like it's the same design, but this arm is a lot thinner than this one. So it's like if you took the jacket off, she would be in like um, ring gear. So let me do that real quick. The jacket's like one of these like uh, sleeve things. It does have the have the man on the back, so that was like a part of her thing too. Um, let's see. Honestly, this would be a lot easier just to take these out. So, for example, if I put these back on, it looks a little weird. So you can kind of see like it's like, this is more like a wrestling gear rather than a jacket. But if I put, that's her left arm, that on with this, then, you know, that matches up. And it'll look a lot better if we put another head on it. So, you can see that. For some reason, this face is not bad, but it doesn't look like her like this one does. I don't know, like the eyes do, but the smile just is a little off. Doesn't look quite like her smile. I think they did a really good job with the hair though. So it's kind of neat. Um, you know, like with the articulation of the neck, you got the usual thing. The hair blocks off a lot of it. So obviously if you took the other head. God dang, what the heck? There we go. And put that one on. They really don't move much at all, so it's kind of odd. Yeah, it just kind of, it doesn't, <clears throat> it kind of just moves within the thing, but you see like the ball joint that was there before didn't move at all, so it just kind of moves as you see like that. Um, so this was kind of like the basic guitar shell, like the black and yellow. Um, I did notice too, like my left hand's got some pain issues there. So, oops, there we go. Um, that one looks fine. So there's that. So let's see. She stands pretty good. Has like the boots. Well, it almost goes all together. It's like a, it's 
a boot that looks like a sock kind of going up. It does have like kind of like an indent here, so I guess it's supposed to be a boot. I don't know, but yeah. Um, God, diaphragm, like there's a lot of, it's all the back like that and then goes all the way forward like that, so that's really good. And this obviously spins, but it's kind of the thing where like the hips are wider than the depth, so if you spin it too much, it looks a little weird. So you can see like it's kind of poking out the sides there. So there's that. Um, knee pads, they can move a little bit. I don't really know where from the go. They just kind of look better on the knee. So there's that. Let's see. Okay. And then there's two belts, which look almost identical. So I like the white belt. Same logo and everything. Um, it doesn't have our logo there either, just the WWE logos. Um, cover the back like that. So basically it's like the SmackDown and Raw belts and she had won both of them. So that's when they called her Becky two belts for a while. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna put her back in the jacket to pose her with the two belts. I think that was probably the best pose. Look how easily this stuff pops off. It just the problem. Um, so I thought it was weird that she had separate arms, but now it totally makes sense. And I just like this one a lot better. And so they can be gripping hands. So you can just kind of, if you wanted to, you could just have her hold it. I noticed this jacket though, kind of blocks it more too. So, um, now let's see. I'm trying to get like a grip on it. Probably better at the back. There we go. So you can even put like your thumb through this lace right here if you want to hold it like that. And if you wanted just to do one hand, I suppose you could take these fists out too. So make the fists run interchangeable as well. So that's pretty cool. So the fists are interchangeable and you just want to do like, you know, that. Just hold on one belt. But what I'll probably do is have her hold both belts. I'm trying to think of a way for her to hold it like, with well, like it's a little more visible. So there we go. I think how she did it because she would like hold it like that. So let's do that. Stuff is running up those two, so I gotta kind of work this one. That's probably my problem with their right arm. Just trying to get that on the move. There we go. Stubborn. Oh, sorry. 
There we go. And I'm coming back. There we go. So there's the thumbnail. So I'll make two belts. That's like it's a little tricky with her standing. She seems okay, but I noticed like the ankles are have a lot of give to them. So you just have to kind of find the right way and then, you know, just kind of adjust it. Looks like in the hips too. And then, so that's kind of like an old Toy Biz Marvel Legends thing is like if you have these toe articulations, it like kind of loosens the balance here. So if you got her, you might want to lean her cheat a little bit and lean against like a, another wrestling figure or something like that. Um, this is another excellent figure. Um, so like with the other ones, uh, it's another nine in my book. Um, you know, it's, they're almost tens, but like they just have like this little paint QC issues. Like I'm just put this fist back in and just want to remind you like, you know, this shows up. You know, like the stuff I said about the lace, like the smile on his face. Like the face and hair looks great. It's just like from here up, it looks like Becky Lynch from here down looks a little different. She's got like a different smile. I don't know. Um, anyways, um, yeah. So I think it's excellent. It's a really good figure. Um, definitely held me off of getting her or Seth Rollins for a while because I remember this came out and um, it's been out a while. 2022 so there it is so it's been about two years i didn't see it on shelves long though and this was you know before i actually got in wrestling figures like i do now but yeah i think this is an excellent one definitely worth getting it's not like you find a retail anymore or anything like that but yeah if you find a good deal on it you know it's definitely good to add to the ultimates um but yeah that's all i have thanks for watching